Okay guys, so welcome back. We're gonna do a YouTube today. It's all about those days when you feel a bit sluggish, you feel a bit rubbish, your legs are maybe not responding the way you usually do and things that you could do to help that. Today's YouTube will address those days that you go out the door, you know your fitness is in a good place, you think you've done everything you can to prepare and the session goes pff, terrible. Or sometimes you get there race and the gun goes and off you go, you start you know, your race and you're like, wow, why do I feel worse than I did a week ago, two weeks ago in heavy training and now that I've tapered, I'm out here, I feel absolutely garbage. And so if you want some tips on how to feel better in races, keep watching and hopefully in your next race, you'll not have to deal with that feeling rubbish. Hopefully in your next training session, you'll be far better prepared to handle the training well, to feel good in that training and not go home beating yourself up. Here we go. So how do I know anything about hard and soft muscles? I'm up a mountain, I'm training with some of the best athletes in the world, you know, Bashir Abde, Mo Farah, all these guys, the Bowerman Track Club, and I basically get a text saying, hey, we're not gonna go for a run until like 10.30. And I'm looking at the time and I'm like, it's only like 9.45, like you have 45 minutes, what do you need 45 minutes for? And the boys basically text back and say, I have to do my pre-run activation, I have to do my pre-run routine. My old pre-run routine was a cup of coffee and walk out the door. And so I'm there, I get this text and I'm like, wow, what is this? So I just asked the question, why are you doing this? What is this helping? There's no point me being on these camps, learning from some of these best athletes in the world, seeing what they do and not adding it to my own program. There is also no point you watching this YouTube video, hearing what I have to say and not going and implementing it. So please, you can take a horse to water but you can't make a drink. I can share this knowledge, I can share these tips but you have to do something about it. Start to implement it into your training and start to help your body. You only get one body, start to help it. Okay, so there's this thing in running called hard and soft muscles. Hard muscles are essentially when the muscles are in a state of we're ready to go. Soft muscles are often that feeling when you feel a little bit rubbish, the legs feel heavy, and that's when you're complaining and thinking, I felt, I felt better two weeks ago. I'm so confused, you know, I've taken life easy, I've taken running easy, I've been recovering and now I feel rubbish. Why when I was in heavy training was I able to feel good and I felt springy and I felt great? Now all of a sudden when I'm supposed to be fresh on race day, I feel absolutely garbage. And so hard and soft muscles is basically the muscles when they're in a hard state, they're activated, they're ready to go, they're switched on and essentially there's a, there's a line of, Here's a, here's a line chart and your muscles go from being super, super soft and not ready all the way up to almost over stiff. If your muscles get to that over stiff, that's when like injuries can come along and you can pick up problems and you don't wanna get there. When your muscles are down here at the bottom of the graph and they're in an almost too soft state, they're a bit useless. And so the reason that running feels hard work is because your muscles aren't switched on. They're not activated, they're not ready to go. You want your muscles to be switched on, you want them activated, you want them ready to go. So ways to get your muscles, it's all about the pre-activation, pre-routine, what are you doing in the days before hard training? What are you doing you know, immediately before you go out that door training? And then advice on how perhaps if you've got to that too stiff phase, what do you do about it? And so your first piece of advice today is how do you get ready for training or a race? The day before you're gonna do maybe a harder session, it's actually better to not run on grass. Grass can lead to the muscles being in that soft state. It's the soft ground underfoot that just gets the muscles to brilliant for recovery, but not good the day before a race or a harder training session. You want those muscles in a hard state. You can also avoid things like hot baths, massage because these are also brilliant for recovery, brilliant after the harder day, but if you do those the day before the big day, the harder day, the race, the training session, again it puts those muscles into that soft state which they don't activate, they're not ready to go. It'd be like sending your car into the garage, sending it to the mechanic and the mechanic tuning it wrong. You need to start tuning your body right that it's ready to go. And so what you can do is you can do 
an easy run, not on grass, and then perhaps after the run you can do either some strides or some hill sprints. Hill sprints are brilliant because it's uphill, so it's less impact on the body, but it also activates those muscles and it helps you recruit more muscle fibers in the muscles. Let's pretend the muscles have a thousand muscle fibers. It's likely at the moment you can only use about 200 of that 1,000. You're carrying weight, you're carrying muscle that you're not even using. Hill strides are gonna help you not only get prepared for the harder session tomorrow, but it's also gonna help you use more of this body weight that you're already carrying, but at the moment you're wasting it. Do that the night before, then when you show up to train and do some like pre-run activation. If you don't know what pre-run activation is, you can go to joggingroom.com. There's a free pre-run activation circuit there. It's acting in a similar way to the hill strides, but less so in the muscle fiber recruitment and more in the you're flicking the light switch on. There is no point going out the door for a run without getting your vehicle, your body ready to handle that run. If you get your vehicle, your body ready to handle the run, it's gonna handle it much better. This like pre-run activation circuit, what it's gonna do is switch the muscles on. If you ever go to the gym or do it right now, do like three sets of a 20 to 30 second plank. The first set might feel a bit challenging, but that switches the body on. Then you do the second set and suddenly you think, whoa, this is way better. You've just switched the muscles on. That's what your pre-training activation is gonna do. Think about what you're doing the day before and then think about what you're doing the morning before you go train. And then if you want to focus on recovery, that's when you can incorporate the things that lead to soft muscles. Epsom baths, you know, massage, running on grass, and that's gonna get the muscles into a softer state, which you don't wanna get, remember we talked about the graph, you don't wanna live down here where the muscles are always soft, but you also don't want to get to the point where the muscles are getting too stiff. So keep a balance. If you like this, there's a full lecture in the Run and Master class all about hard and soft muscles, and it taps into some of this stuff. It goes into a lot more detail, but this is giving you an insight into using your week of training and structuring things in a way where you incorporate strides, hills, when to incorporate the recovery stuff, and that's what helps you on the day to day. A lot of people will go home, feel rubbish and train and beat themselves up because they think they're not fit and it might have came down to something as little as hard and soft muscles. And so on another note, the next YouTube that I'll do or another YouTube I'm gonna do will be all about glucose levels and it'll be similar to today, but glucose levels are controlling what you eat before you go run, but don't neglect that your muscle condition is equally as important. I hope this helped. If you like today's video, comment below, like, subscribe. If you've had days where you feel garbage, comment below, I'll comment back, I'll be able to help you with that. I might be able to you know, tweak things a little bit for you, like a structure that might work for you. Give me some comments below, like, subscribe to the channel if you like it, and take care.